Welcome friends, uh, my name is Mohammad Kashif and I have over 17 years of experience in the field of substation, protection and automations. Uh, today's topic is uh, that we will discuss and understand is related to complete understanding of insulation resistance, IR, mega testing. So basically uh, the test uh, its name is insulation resistance test but uh, it is firstly well, the most equipment that is used by the IR common equipment is MAGA so it's also a uh, name behind its manufacturer as a MAGA uh, testing but it's, it's basically the name of manufacturer uh, basically uh, the most uh, common test that is done uh, in any electrical substation is the insulation resistance uh, test and this is also most important to uh, test the insulations uh, the most commonly uh, we know about the testing the insulation is uh, by only one method that is called as spot testing in which we inject select the voltage and inject the uh, voltage uh, and check the reading but this is uh, not the right method in all condition and cases so um, today we will uh, see there are how many types of uh, uh, maker test uh, or insulation test uh, we can do uh, this type of spot testing that we are normally doing is basically is done uh, for installation purposes only whereas in the maintenance uh, there are uh, other methods that we will discuss that we have to give some time and also we have to measure the reading and we keep the record for uh, every year and keep on checking the uh, basically insulation is uh, decreasing or increasing so and this is very interesting and also very important uh, topic of insulation uh, if you are belongs to a commissioning uh, um, team or installation team also this is very valuable for you and if you are belongs to a team of maintenance uh, we will discuss uh, this insulation testing in detail and also the most common questions uh, which is asked uh, in any interview for uh, uh, from a newcomer is normally uh, the insulation testing this is one of the very basic testing that is uh, the every engineer should know uh, first of all he should know how to use the multimeter and then uh, obviously he should know at least uh, how insulation uh, can be tested so let's start uh, discuss about our course uh, uh, we have first we will discuss about definition of insulation resistance uh, what causes insulation resistance to degrade so there are certain causes then we will discuss how insulation resistance test set works. Uh, further, we will discuss understand insulation resistance distribution. Basically, insulation resistance is not a, a combined at one place; it's distributed along the insulation level. So, we will discuss this topic also. We will discuss uh, the leakage current. What is the leakage current, and what is the direction of leakage current? Leakage current is basically the current which is forming the mega ohms uh, which is forming the insulation resistance itself principle of measurement of insulation resistance we will discuss how basically the insulation resistance is measured and how testing equipment is working we will check the equivalent circuit of insulation resistance of uh, different uh, equipment installations uh, we will discuss the formula to calculate insulation resistance uh, this is something new but i will show you there is a formula if you know the parameters of any cable or insulation you can calculate how much would be the insulation resistance and then you can compare it with the results understanding type of leakage currents now we will discuss conductive leakage capacitive leakage current polarization absorption leakage current surface leakage current this all type of leakage currents which are available <coughs> when you are doing the insulation resistance testing Further, we have understanding the charging current, what is the phenomenon of charging current, capacitance distribution, capacitance is also distributed along the insulation. So we will see and check this cable distribution. Then further we will discuss about capacitance equivalent circuit of three phase circuit. Obviously, uh, each cable also has some capacitance uh, and then we will see how cable charging works and how the phenomena of cable charging works on the reading of <coughs> on the reading of mega and uh, how uh, it is avoided 
uh, how we can eliminate this uh, error charging time constants uh, basically we will see because cable is kind of rc circuit and t is equal to rc so we will see what is the time constant of cable and how we can calculate the 5t mostly the cables charging uh, charging is completed almost uh, near to 100% by in 5 times the time constant value effect of charging current on the reading polarization or absorption current we will discuss this another type of current, uh, leakage current available then we will discuss dielectric absorption in detail we will understand the current curves uh, we will show you a curve in which you will see conduction current capacitive current and polarization current normally the uh, leakage current is uh, surface leakage current is included in the conduction current selection of applied voltages as per IEEE standard for 43 uh, we will see uh, an, a table in which we will show you if, if you know the voltage rating of the solution then you can select how much voltage you should apply so this is also most commonly required uh, when you are doing solution resistance we will check application of IR test what are the application and benefits of doing the insulation resistance test how to make connections and different combination to test so uh, what does it mean is if you all want to test the basically uh, induction motor or generator or a cable what is the process how you will start it and uh, what is the preconditions are required for example for the cable to mega you have to isolate the cable from both and first so you will discuss the case for the, how to test the transformer how to test basically the cable how to test the generator how to test the induction motor and all such things we will discuss uh, in, in in detail then you will see understand the test connections so after producing a prerequisites we will see how the test connections are done uh, then we will see the proof testing or solution testing in detail so this i have briefed you uh, in very very um, uh, small, quick words that uh, normally proof testing solution testing we want to prove that the uh, solution is uh, healthy or not it's kind of on and off test yes or no test so we are doing it and most of the engineers and professionals uh, they mostly know only this type of magnet test but there are a lot of other tests that we will discuss maintenance testing and maintenance testing is basically uh, more detailed testing in which you like to keep the historical record of uh, the testing uh, uh, equipment spot or short time resistance testing we will discuss time resistance testing why it's required when we should do we will discuss about the step voltage test this is one of the very interesting tests uh, that has been developed in the past analyzing step curves how to analyze the step curves dielectric absorption test we will discuss this also we will discuss analyzing curve for dielectric uh, absorption test further uh, and we will discuss that uh, various insulation resistance tests available and which test is normally done for what for example we have single reading which is spot testing which is done in proof testing and spot test reading then we have high voltage test which is done, done is only as a proof test means it is done only installation at the time of installation I have what is done one time then we have performance uh, periodically we want to check the performance every year monthly six monthly three monthly depending upon the uh, guideline then we can do spot test we, we, we also do the step voltage test dielectric absorption tests and the polarization index test we have to do for various test voltages uh, we are doing step test voltages for time test interval we are doing direct absorption these are only two tests in which you are, uh, you, you are applying the voltage for certain time and you are getting the results then we have a diagnostic information test this is another uh, following tests are recommended you know, if you, you have a failure or you want to investigate some fault uh, so apply all these methods then we have temperature uh, correction of testing rotating machines so because the mega ohm is also a resistance and it depends upon temperature so when you are doing testing for example if you have done the testing in of uh, one equipment in in a summer season and then next year you have shut down in winter season then you will obviously see some variations so you have to multiply the reading with some factor some value some coefficient in order to get the correct uh, reading and then after that you will be able to 
compare both years leading and you can then earlier that uh, uh, insulation is in, is getting uh, healthier or uh, is getting weaker or not then we have analyzing curve for temperature coefficient factor then we have testing wiring so we will see if you want to test wiring or if you want to test a uh, cable how to test it then we will discuss one calculation example uh, for testing uh, uh, insulation and then uh, yeah, by the diagram uh, I will show you how to connect make the connections if you want to test the cable if you want to test the motor if you want to test the generator if you want to test the circuit breaker or bushing so we will discuss all the connection diagrams that will be helpful for you next we will see and understand voltage uh, characteristics for IR test because uh, each uh, equipment is uh, in order to test the insulation it is basically uh, applying the voltage so when the insulation is uh, weak the voltage will drop and when insulation is healthier voltage will increase and when you apply the basically uh, the voltage initially because there is a uh, uh, in the start charging current polarizing current that, it, that will decay with time so the current initially high and then it decrease so the voltage will be initially less and with the passage of time it will increase and after some time the reading will become stable so we will discuss that by seeing the voltage characteristics or vo voltage output curve of the magnet some magnets are providing this curve you can also judge the healthiness of uh, the insulation next we have is analyzing curve for the ir tester then we have guard terminal there are three terminals uh, which are used uh, uh, positive which is the way we apply the voltage ground and the third terminal is guard terminal so if you want to purchase equipment uh, with two terminals like uh, applying a, a phase or positive and the ground the price will be less but if you want to purchase equipment with an additional guard terminal then price will be a little high so we'll discuss what is a guard terminal we'll check the guard terminal connection diagram uh, not it's not always required to connect the guard terminal but in some cases in some cases it's required to connect the guard so we will discuss uh, this uh, issue of uh, the topic of guard terminal in detail so basically guard terminal is uh, what is doing it is removing the leakage current uh, from the calculations and hence it's giving the reading properly so we will discuss in detail then we'll check the example of using guard connection for accuracy the guard terminal as diagnostic tool further we will go through basically uh, briefly uh, we will, i will introduce you the nc ieee standard 951977 so this is dealing with the uh, insulation uh, testing requirements then we will go to demonstration of mega video so i will in this video i will demonstrate uh, practically we will bring a mega and you will see that how we are testing cable we're using a uh, insulation resistance tester how to use uh, how to test the insulation resistance of transformer and how to test insulation resistance of motor so this basically are the basically it's introduction to our training so let's now go briefly i will show you the slides this is basic definition of insulation resistance then we have uh, uh, further discussion about insulation resistance then we have causes of degradation how insulation resistance test operates insulation resistance mega testing then we have some like i will explain you in detail this in the theory uh, how this insulation resistance phenomena is taking place direction and then we will discuss how the insulation is distributed then you will check the leakage current types uh, components of test currents you will see then you will see the currents surface leakage current then further we will see the charging behavior capacitance equivalent circuit of three phase circuit charging current charging curve testing of IR and you can see with the dielectric polarization absorption ratio current curve how much voltage that you need to select application of ir testing choosing the test voltage choosing the test voltage again the book test procedures testing connection what is book testing 
स्पॉट टेस्टिंग शॉर्ट टाइम टेस्टिंग सिलेक्शन ऑफ वोल्टेज लेवल पावर टू पाइव वोल्टेजेस इंसुलेशन स्टेफ टेस्ट कर्व आई आर और पीरियड ऑफ टाइम स्टेप वोल्टेज टेस्ट स्टेप वोल्टेज कर्व्स हाउ टू एनालाइज स्टेप वोल्टेजेस कर्व्स हाउ टू एनालाइज द इलेक्ट्रिक एब्जॉर्बशन and then we have <coughs> we have dielectric discharge test this is a new test uh, a totally new test that is which is being introduced now and it's very interesting so we will discuss it is used for multi layer insulation we will have multi layer insulations so we will discuss this one in detail and we will analyze the curves based on dielectric discharge test you will see the criteria of the dielectric discharge test you will see polarization index Uh, dielectric and plus index uh, uh, comparison temperature correction this is the curve and we will discuss to make connection different combinations testing transformers how to test transformers what are the prerequisites how to can make the connection and this is example where i have calculated the basically uh, resistance at uh, certain degree centigrade insulation resistance pre testing requirement how to set up the connections uh, we will discuss in detail safety is al al always it is very important so i have discussed uh, electrical safety when you are going to test the ir test the connection diagrams for cable for circuit breaker for power transformer for generator how to connect for the induction motor or motor so voltage characteristics as i told you you will see this is the output of the uh ir tester we will discuss how it should be guard terminal that i have just told you leakage surface current this is the basically diagram for the guard terminal uh, connections guard terminals how to connect the guard terminals and we will see how it affect the accuracy then we will go to the brief introduction of nc i triple e standard then we have a demonstration how you are uh, doing the insulation test time insulation resistance test dielectric adsorption ratio test we will see how to do it polarization index test dielectric discharge test variable voltage test and the ramp test so this is a demonstration will be from magar so i hope you will enjoy this training this is very very detailed training and i hope uh, that you will understand and enroll in this training so i welcome you uh to this training which is very very detailed one so thank you very much